When I first found out that I'd have an opportunity to do a project about PBC, something that my mom has, I was really excited about it because it was personal to me and my family. Learning that I'd meet other women who had the disease, I didn't really have any expectations of what it would be like because mostly I'd viewed this disease through my mom's lens and she's pretty healthy. To hear you have an autoimmune disease that uh, there's no cure, my first reaction was like, felt like a death sentence, like I said. Telling my family they were all so concerned about it and say my son, well I really can't say it, but <laughs> I was getting married, <laughs> oh, I can't say it, but I told his new mother-in-law that I was so happy. It's okay, Mom. That he would have a mother. All collected together looks like quite a bit. Like I said, as we're gathering them up, I don't even see them. But I start getting gifts from people. And like the little favorite little teaspoons. Anything with the ladybug. Salt and pepper, hello. What is this? Oh, little garden bling everywhere. Garden bling? Yes. <laughs> That's what you call it, garden bling. This is my grandmother right after her liver transplant, the day she came home. And this is my grandfather on the Ford 8 in tractor. And so he made her this little, like what he called like a coach um, to bring, wheel her into the house outside of the car. It was like this welcoming home thing that he did. He thought he was oh, hilarious funny. and so cute. <laughs> he yeah. <is. laughs> yeah, he was. So my husband now has this tractor and that's the Ford oh, 8 in tractor that so he's been fixing up. The unique thing about Brandy is that she's so young. In some ways, she's lucky that she got diagnosed early because at least now, she can make some adjustments in her life and try to figure out what's gonna work best for her. It's just the only way to find relief. It's like I, that scratching pad, I have it always in my bag, in my purse. One of the worst symptoms aside from the pruritus is the relentless uh, fatigue. You are so tired. I'm having a conversation. I could be having a conversation with someone and I fall asleep. In the, in the middle of the conversation, I am just dead, dead tired, dead mean. It was hard to watch um, Belle pulling out two forks and scratching her feet. For me, it made it really real. It made it really sad, but at the same time, she's so like full of life. She just has like some kind of energy about her that you feel like drawn to. And to think that there's somebody who just like all they want is to like live and they can't, like it just.
Going on this journey has taught me that everyone's experience with this disease is different, but none are easy. 